Hello and welcome back. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, 1993, stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us, and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Joe Lando played the character Byron Sully in the TV series when he was 32 years old in 1993. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 62-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Prairie View, Illinois. Rich, huh? Exactly. Well, it's too bad you and I don't share the same vision, Mr. Garrick. Hmm. It's a pity. Mary Beth, I mean, yes. she's, a, she's a daytime legend. Yes, she is. Again, yeah. look, I always just think I, I, you know. You really do. It really well, like Sean Tuvey played the character Brian Cooper. He was 10 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. Here he is at a cool 40, chilling in Lincoln, Nebraska, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. Chad Allen played Matthew Cooper in the TV series when he was 19 years old in 1993. Check it out. At 49 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Cerritos, California. In a slightly different way. I like to think of my work as an actor. Um, and my work in psychology as being kind of similar. They're both human behavior. Orson Bean played the character Lauren Bray. He was 65 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. Sadly, on February 7, 2020, he left us due to being struck by a car at the age of 91 in Venice, Los Angeles, California. His passing deeply saddens us. I'll be uh, having a sale on oil lamps starting tomorrow, if anybody's interested. <laughs> well, I'm for it. Go on and vote. <clears throat> uh, there was a discussion of, uh, with the panel about uh, leaving organs after you're dead. Leave your eyes, leave your kidneys. And I said to him, I intend to... Jane Seymour played the character Dr. Quinn, medicine woman, in the TV series when she was 42 years old in 1993. Fast forward to today... She's a lively 73-year-old, soaking up the best of life right here in Uxbridge, Middlesex, England. Hey, let's see how this looks on. Huh? They didn't really want to admit it, they didn't know what to do about it, and it changed the entire dynamic of the family, and it's yeah. really about three generations. And this amazing woman, Ruby, ends up having to live with her daughter. Frank Collison played the character Horace Bing in the TV series when he was 43 years old in 1993. Check it out. At 74 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Evanston, Illinois. She... She's gone. Who's gone? Oh, Lord, somebody. They've taken her. Katie? Oh, no. Oh, no. They fought for me. And then on the flip side... About year five or six, she brings me into the office and I go, uh-oh, this is what... Henry G. Sanders played the character Robert E. in the TV series when he was 51 years old in 1993. Here he is at a cool 81, chilling in Houston, Texas, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. And uh, it's owned by an Anglo named Caraway. Who has a Mexican wife. Now she came home with a white child, Katie's age, a couple of months ago. If I do nothing else, I will be able to say this is a legacy that I've left for that will be around for generations and generations. So I'm very proud and pleased. Janelle Allen played the character Grace. 
She was 49 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. Here she is, at a cool 79, chilling in New York City, New York, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. There were two horses, except we didn't know which one Katie was on, so we're going to have to split up. Brian, you take the one that headed east with Jake. The rest of us will go south. We're going to ride in half an hour. What about me? I am one. Jim Nobelock played the character Jake Slicker. He was 43 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. Here he is at a cool 73, chilling in Belleville, Illinois, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. The skull push against each other, creating a ridge. Her hair always covered it. How can you tell? Larry Sellers played the character Cloud Dancing. He was 44 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. December 9, 2021 was a tough one. He left us due to natural causes at 72 years old in Pawhuska, Oklahoma. It's a sad loss for all of us. I thought you were in Montana. I was. The spirits told me to come back. What for? I don't know. They said you'd tell me. Erica Flores played the character Colleen Cooper in the TV series when she was 14 years old in 1993. Check it out. At 44 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Grass Valley, California. Jeffrey Lower played the character Reverend Timothy Johnson. He was 30 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 60-year-old, soaking up the best of life right here in Casper, Wyoming. All right, let's chat. Who is your absolute favorite character from Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman? Jump into the comments and spill the beans below this video. And like always, show some love. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and ding that notification bell to never miss my new stuff. I can't wait to cook up more fantastic memories with you. Thanks a bunch, and stay tuned for more. See you all soon.